in tonight's Eye on Earth, protecting the future of Long Wharf. We have seen that area flood time and time again. But are there ways to keep the high water away? As WBZ's Jordan Jagalinzer shows us tonight, work is about to get underway to find some long-term solutions. Long Wharf in Boston has been around for more than 300 years. It's an icon to the city and a place people go to enjoy beautiful views of the harbor. It's a cultural treasure. Even on a day like this, there's something almost romantic about it. I mean, it's, it's the stillness of being down here. But as the years continue to pass by, flooding in the area is getting worse. The Long Wharf chart houses areas were already seeing uh, flooding of these areas with higher high tide events. A week ago, the board with the Boston Public Planning and Development Agency approved an $880,000 initiative to study ways to keep Long Wharf around for another 300 years. But the strategy we've been following for Boston Harbor is to look at elevating the shoreline. Um, ways to integrate a lot of nature-based solutions. Chris Bush is the Assistant Deputy Director for Climate and Environmental Planning. He says they received tons of feedback from residents and property owners before coming to the agreement. We'll be looking at the proposed locations for flood protection measures to see if those are actually going to be feasible either along the perimeter of the wharf, further inland, uh, in water solutions. The board voting to hire Boston engineering consultant Kleinfelder to do just that. Uh, they've also done a lot of work with the MBTA and flood proofing uh, the T's aquarium station uh, facility. The goal to come up with a better understanding of the conditions in the Long Wharf area and make a flood resiliency plan. Bush says it's especially important right now because Long Wharf could serve as a flood pathway to the city. This area could uh, lead to more significant flooding of Quincy Market, Faneuil Hall, all the way to uh, the steps of city halls. He adds the mayor and governor are both supportive of protecting the wharf, oh. but the BPDA is considering cost as well. Boston is really leading the nation with a lot of this work. And the city is confident they'll be able to come up with long-term solutions following the study to protect the wharf while enhancing public access and preserving the habitat. This work at Long Wharf, I, I think, is really a pilot or, or a test case that you know we can replicate throughout um, a number of, of Boston's historic waterfront. The study will take about a year, and the hope is that once the best flood protection measures are determined that are cost considerate, funding through state and federal grants will actually construct those systems, and Long Wharf will still be here for all the years to come. In Boston, Jordan Jagelins, WBZ News.